Warning, this video does contain spoilers of the new Spider-Man No Way Home movie. So if you did not want the, spoil the movie spoiled to you and you have not seen it, please leave because I will be telling spoilers in this video. Thank you. Now let's get on to it. Okay, in the Spider-Man um, No Way Home movie, um, at the end of the film, they show Spider-Man going into a an apartment. And this is after he fights everyone, after Aunt May's death, and after he joins up with all the other two Spider-Mans. This is, this is after all of that. He goes in, in, into an apartment, he buys himself an apartment, and then he makes himself a new shiny suit. And once I saw that suit, I immediately recognized it. That suit is the same exact suit from this PS4 Spider-Man um, game. And this got me thinking, what if, what if the MCU is trying to turn the Tom Holland Spider-Man into the PS4 Spider-Man? And if my theory is right, that means we're going to get new villains and one more extra hero that I think we all know and love. That's right, Miles Morales. And if this is really true, I would I would love to see Miles Morales in the MCU and working with Spider-Man. But I also said there will be new villains, so I'm going to name some of those villains right now. Okay, so I wrote down some of the villains that I do remember from the video game, and they are written down on this piece of paper, or, um, yeah. Um, I'm going to be um, saying their names out loud and showing pictures of them on the screen. Number one is Shocker. Number two is Tombstone. Number three is the Black Cat. Number four, Rhino. Five, Mr. Negative. Six, Scorpio, or Scorpion. Um, seven, Vulture. 8, Taskmaster, um, 9, Kingpin, 10, Hammerhead, 11, Silver Sable, 12, um, last but not least, Screwball. Now, those are all the villains that are in the Spider-Man video game. And I'm naming them from the video game because I did say that they're trying to turn Tom Holland's Spider-Man into the video game Spider-Man. Now, some of the people that I just said on this list were, uh, were actually already introduced to the MCU. Some such as Kingpin, if you watched the recent um, Hawkeye um, episode, Kingpin was introduced in, in um, that, um, last ep that latest episode. And right now, we already see him in the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. Shocker. Um, Shocker, he actually is in the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. He was one of Vulture's um, like little, like, a henchman or whatever. Speaking of Vulture, we already seen Vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming, as I said. And Scorpio, or Scorpion, was also in Spider-Man Homecoming's post credit scene. And he will definitely be introduced into the MCU. And we've already seen Taskmaster in the Black Widow film that is on Disney+. Plus. You can actually go watch that on Disney+, Plus if you have it. And uh, I think that is it. I think that's all the villains that were already introduced. But yeah, um, for the rest of the other villains that ha that we have not seen in the MCU yet, I think it would be perfect for them to be introduced in this new Spider-Man movie. Or not new movie, or just in Spider-Man. And if they're not introduced in Spider-Man, they will be introduced in something else. Like Taskmaster was and Rhino was. Uh, but um, yeah, I hope you like this video. And make sure you like subscribe turn on those post notifications so you get notified every time i post a video for the next video i'll be posting um on some info some information about all of these villains and information about miles morales peace out i hope you all have a lovely day and see you see you again